Hi, my name's Amanda Neal and I run Mega Music Management. We are a music agency that take care of management bookings and special events. I have Simon Martin here who takes care of all the bookings for the agency. Hi Simon. Hi Amanda. Hi. Now Simon takes care of Bantastic as well as Soul House and Junior Star Factor. Bantastic is one of the nights we have at Babylon Brixton. Simon, how do you go about taking care of these bands? How do you actually go about finding the bands to book in? Well, it's not necessarily me finding them. Mm -hmm. Basically, they, they contact uh, us through our website or maybe through Twitter or Facebook, however they sort of get hold of us, and mm -hmm. um, sort of give me a demo. And then it's more obviously my job to sort of filter through, write a band report on, on literally all of them, get in contact with them directly, um, sort of see if they're worth booking out, sort of, how many, sort of, whether they're local or, it all depends really. Mm -hmm. and do you make sure that you contact all of the artists? Oh yeah, everybody. Okay, is that solo artists as well as bands? Solo artists, bands, duets, everybody. Okay, now we had our first fantastic night just fairly recently um, that went that went well, that was up at Babylon, like I said, at Brick in Brixton. Um, was that a variety of acts? Is that any type of genre that we found? Um, okay, that, well, that was our first fantastic. And what we had up there was um, we had Mengisto, our, our well, one and only soloist. Um, and we had three bands up there, sort of mainly sort of three, four, five piece um, sort of band members um, playing different things sort of, sort of from, from indie to rock to sort of quite screams sort of quite heavy metal, really. Okay. So a big variety. Okay, and Soul House is soul band? Is it what type of soul? Soul is it? House basically consists of soul, R and B, sort of the smoother sort of modern or more modern sort of genre of music. Okay, and that's another what, three, four acts that you've got performing. Um, I think we've got three at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, I've just been contacted by another band mm -hmm. um, that I will actually give them a call tomorrow mm -hmm. and I'm going to get them booked in as well. Yeah. So it's generally, generally four actually be booking for Soul House? You, yeah, pretty okay. much four. Okay. Um, so that's fantastic in Soul House. Now, Junior Star Factor is another um, special event that we have. We've just held the first Junior Star Factor at the Ark in Caterham, which was in February, and it went really fantastically we had 23 or maybe 25 contestants that came forward for, for that all solo artists singers and dancers and now the contestants are meeting at a junior star factor after party as well at another venue of ours called the boogie lounge in epsom um, simon takes care of booking all of the artists for the junior star factor show and as well for the after parties we've got another junior star factor happening in Croydon as well as Sutton. What venues yeah. are they at, Sam? Um, well, the Croydon one is going to be at the Treehouse. Mm -hmm. um, it's exactly the same venue that we're holding uh, Soul House at. Mm -hmm. um, we have another one in Sutton, as you just mentioned, um, which is going to be at Chicago Rocks Cafe. Mm -hmm. And what is Junior Star Factor about? Is that another talent show? Okay, basically the main concept is um, sort of giving 18 and unders um, a chance to get up on stage showcasing what they've got, whether they're singers, dancers, literally all genres of everything, mm -hmm. um, to get up on stage, perform in front of everybody, sort of friends, family, supporters, mm -hmm. um, which obviously, I mean, how many things can you name out there mm -hmm. that give children an opportunity to do that? And what about, is there a panel of judges involved as well? There's going to be a panel of judges, um, sort of celebrity judges, mm -hmm. um, that exactly the same concept that we had last, uh, last time. Yeah. Um, at the Ark. Yeah. And what is the prize for Junior Star Factor? The prize uh, will be an eight hour recording studio session mm -hmm. um, at the same place where Peter Andre recorded his second album mm -hmm. um, in London and it will be, well, us booking UK tour dates as well. Okay. So they also get UK shows as yep. well. Is that? Yep. Yep. Um, what we've done from the first Junior Star Factor show is we've taken um, artists from there also and we've given them first-hand direct vocal coaching as well so they have that in our own Mega Music Management Studio and then they're also given UK shows as well also in line with what we do for Junior Star Factor they also have other events as well booked for them through Mega Music Management so they kind of get official bookings as well once they're actually on our books um, so we have Mega Music Management it's special events management bookings 
what else can we do as an agency? Do you think that there is help for sort of publicity for other artists? I mean, what can we do for them? Can we help them with music videos, with contacts? Well, as a music agency who have been going for quite a long time now, mm -hmm. we obviously have built up this, um, this sort of contact base and database of various different people in, so obviously involved in videos, um, involved in recording, um, literally everyone that you could kind of need to sort of make it half big in the industry, we have actually got those contacts sort of available to us. Yeah, so if artists wanted to use those contacts, they're made available to them. They know where to come. Yeah. So do you find that lots of artists that come forward, what, what is their publicity often like? Do you sort of suggest, make suggestions to them as they come forward? I often do. Well, it, it varies very differently. Obviously, my inbox is full of um, ones of sort of bands and artists that have been going for sort of five, ten, fifteen years, mm -hmm. and other guys who've just been sort of going for maybe sort of six months or a year. Mm -hmm. So their publicity packs vary massively, mm -hmm. and their sort of standard of demo, um, standard of songs, it's a variety of standards. What do you suggest though? I mean, I've been speaking to bands for many years and always sort of told them, let's go for biog, photo, yeah. um, previous gig list. Um, we need any press material if they've got it. And is that enough? Is, is, is it more or less now bands are just emailing stuff over? Is it still good that they have something it's, physically and they're sending it over to you? I, I, I do like, obviously, today is like obviously a very... Internet-based. Internet-based yeah, world. It can be, yeah. um, so, I mean, obviously it's great to stay in touch that way. But I always like to have a hard copy. So if I could give any advice out there, I'd always say send something in mm. with pictures, like a bio, would you say, your demo, Mm -hmm. and then we can go from there. Yeah, great, okay. So Junior Star Factor now, as we mentioned, it has been held already at the Ark. It's going to be held in Chicago Rocks in Sutton and also in the Treehouse in Croydon. And it's also going to be held regionally now in other venues around the UK. So we're looking at 12 to 15 shows happening over the next year. And then after that, there will be a regional final where all of the contestants, all the finalists will meet over a period of about a week at a separate location. So watch this space in Making Music Management and check out the website www.makingmusic.webeven.co.uk and find out further details if you want to apply for any of those shows. In the meantime, if you want to apply for any other of the shows that we do, like Fantastic or Soul House, just send an email to us or to Simon, of course, for your booking.